I've been collecting comics regularly since 2003, and over the past 15 years I've accumulated what I think is quite a respectable collection. But the one problem I've always had with collecting comics is space. I'm sure anyone with a big collection of anything has had this issue, but just finding out where to put everything has always been something of a struggle of mine. I'm not talking about trade paperbacks and graphic novels, of course. That's easy, just put them on a bookshelf. No, I'm of course talking about the monthly single issue, the floppies, the ones you get at your local comic book store. They're not really designed to be put on a bookshelf the same you would, say, a normal book. But I've never been quite satisfied with the traditional method of storing comics. Surely there must be a better way to collect comics in 2018 than just sticking them in a long box. Well boys and girls, I think I finally found the answer. So join me as I take you on a journey of how I figured out how to upgrade my comic book collection. Way back in the Halcyon days of 2015, I made a video on how to properly maintain your comic book collection. You can watch that here, but the gist of it is you should always bag and board your comics and put them in a long box, or in my case, a short box. In all honesty, I didn't really say anything radical in that video. The combination of bag, board, and box is how people have been collecting comics for years, decades even. For as long as there's been a hardcore collector market, by and large, that's how people stored their comics. Simple and easy. Simple and easy, but not perfect. I understand bagging and boarding, I do that, but I've never been a fan of the whole long box, short box aspect of collecting. For one thing, these boxes can be very unwieldy. Long boxes are perhaps too long. You can't exactly put them on a regular shelf. And short boxes can become overstuffed very fast. And that's not good for your comics in the long run. They can ruin them even if they're bagged and boarded. Also, both long and short boxes can get really heavy. I have some short boxes that weigh between 30 and 40 pounds. And that can be a real pain in the ass if you have to move them for any reason at all. And move them around, you will have to do. As you can see in my Maintaining Comics video, I used to have my boxes on shelves. That's fine for just housing them long term, but if you ever wanted to reread a comic or put a new comic away, that's when things can become a problem. Anytime I would need to access my collection, I would have to take the box, pull it off the shelf, put it on the ground, rifle through the box, put the comic away or take it out, put the cover back on, pick the thing up again, and then put it back on the shelf. And I would have to do this multiple times sometimes depending on how many books I bought that week. Currently, I don't have my boxes on a shelf. I have them stacked in a corner somewhere. So picking up multiple boxes is an unavoidable aspect of my collecting. Also, let's be real honest with ourselves here. This is just a cardboard box. Even the ones with character art on them that look slightly fancier don't look that much different from regular old cardboard boxes. It would be nice to have something a little bit more aesthetically pleasing to put in my house. I remember a few years ago at New York Comic Con, a company called Comic Cubes was showing off their product. They were basically short boxes made of high quality wood that acted like drawers for you to put your comic books in. They come in a variety of different styles and arrangements and they look very nice, like sturdy real furniture. I thought this is perfect, this is exactly what I'm looking for. I was all set to buy them, but then I saw that one was $130 and I need at least 10 of these things. So I put that on the back burner for now and decided just to Google alternate methods of comic book collecting, something that can house my comics and look good doing it. I've seen a lot of people mod filing cabinets to put their collection in, and I think this is a really good idea. You can store the comics vertically like you would in a long box, and filing cabinets are sturdy as hell. This uh, fireproof cabinet, so if like I lose all my house, I come back and I still got my comics. But filing cabinets are also pretty expensive, especially the size you would need to house a comic book collection. Even the cheapest ones at Ikea that you can get for this purpose are like $100. So if you can't fill the cabinet, this might not be worth it for you. And if you think you would need multiple cabinets, then you might be looking at prices similar to comic cubes. I do have some of those cardboard storage drawers that you can put your pre-existing long box into and they sort of act like filing cabinets, but I don't really like them all that much. They're still just cardboard boxes. You're just putting your pre-existing cardboard box 
into them. Also, these things aren't reinforced like regular cabinet drawers are. So if you pull one of your boxes out, there's nothing to support it. It'll just hang there at best and fall out of the box at worst. I just wind up pulling the whole thing out and sifting through my collection on the floor like if I didn't have these things at all. Really, this method is only good if you're okay with stacking your boxes. It does make stacking a lot easier but I don't want to stack my collection anymore. I want something different. Maybe I just need to drop this whole drawer idea and rethink what I want to do. At the end of the day, these are books. There's no reason why I can't put them on a bookshelf. I just need to find a way to do it properly. I have seen people use these kind of magazine holders to put their comics in and then put them on a shelf. I think this is a really good idea. They're not that expensive, and you can find them in pretty much every major office supply store. The ones I got are the Flit model from Ikea. They hold about 30 comics each, and you can get a five pack for only two bucks. That's a hell of a deal. But while these are very good, I think we can do better still. If you're a regular comic book collector, you might be familiar with the company BCW. They make a whole lot of collecting supplies that you might actually own already, like bags, boards, boxes, and even these things. These are store folios. Get it? Storage portfolios. They hold about 15 to 20 comics each and are designed to be put on your bookshelf. What's great about these things is that they're completely enclosed. They snap together with this little magnetic flap, completely encasing your comic and protecting them from the elements. This is great if you want a new way to store your most prized issues. Also travel, imagine going to a convention or to your friend's house and bringing your comics in one of these things. So much easier and more secure to put this in your backpack than just random single issues. They're not the strongest things in the world, they're still cardboard, but they're sturdy enough that they won't damage easily and they won't ruin your comics. Best of all, these things fit on my bookshelf and look great doing it. Now instead of rummaging through boxes, I can just pull one of these off the shelf, get the comics I need, and then put it back when I'm done. Simple and easy. Real simple and easy. They come in a variety of different styles. You got a plain black one here that actually has this little neat sleeve that you can put your own artwork in to personalize it. They make plain white ones for you to sketch on or maybe get one of your favorite artists to do a drawing on at a con. They make comic book art style ones to go with your whole theme. They even make these that kind of just look like tomes, like old leather books you would see at an old library. These are rad. They even make ones that have actual comic book artwork on them, like The Walking Dead, you got Red Sonja, you got Exo Manowar, that's really awesome. And of course you got Vampirella. I don't think my wife's gonna like the Vampirella one too much. They also come in magazine size, so if you have bigger things you want to collect, like magazines, obviously, game guides, large instruction manuals, or hell, even more comics, you have those as an option. If I have one real issue with store folios, it's the price. One of these things costs about $9.80 on BCW's website. The ones with comic book art are a little more expensive at $12.10, and The Walking Dead ones for some reason are even more expensive at $13.60 each. They do cut you a deal if you buy them in packs of 10, but if you have hundreds or even thousands of books that you need to store, then the price can escalate without you realizing it. But even still, I think these are a great alternative to long boxes. They're a nice, easy, convenient way of keeping your comics readily available and they don't turn your living space into a crumbling comic book store that's one late payment away from becoming a vape shop. I'll be using a combination of these and the magazine holders to keep my collection on a bookshelf from here on out. This way I can have easy access to my stuff and proudly display it for everybody to see because why bother collecting something if you're not gonna show it off? Now all I have to do is get some better bookshelves. These aren't that good. How do you guys and gals store your comic book collection? Do you use the traditional box method or did anything I show you in this video entice you to change it up a little bit? Let me know down below or anywhere on the internet. Hell, send me pictures of your collection on Twitter. Here's my handle if you didn't already know. I would love to see how you guys do it. I wanna give a huge thank you to BCW for actually providing me with some store folios. This isn't a sponsored video, I'm not being paid for this, but they did send a bunch of these things over for me to try out and look at, and I really appreciate it. These are genuinely a really good product. If you wanna get your hands on one of these store folios, check out the links in the description below. And as always, we have new videos every Tuesday and Wednesday, and Wednesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern. That's Wolf Den Live, so subscribe to see all of that like this video and share it with a friend, a friend who's looking to jazz up their comic book collection in a new, creative, and exciting way. I think 
this might have the answer for them. Thank you all for watching. I will see you next time.